What's going on YouTube? Just now right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iCloud bypass. A full one, an untethered one, has been released for iOS 13.3.1 and lower and of course it's now available and it's been created by the uh, developer Sonic in here. A couple of days ago he posted this in here, quote, untethered achieved up to 13.3.1, which by the way at the moment I'm making this video happens to be the latest version available of iOS. And then he said, quote, next step is to compile it and release it. Wait a bit and you will enjoy it. No more random reboots. And then he posted this a couple of days ago, quote, notifications and passcode works on Untethered Bypass, soon to be released and the price will change. Untethered only Mac OS. Windows will be implemented later. And then of course, today he updated the website with this in here. He said, quote, Untethered iCloud Bypass service for 12.2 all the way up to 13.3.1 and of course newer. Now as I said, at the moment I'm making this video you can see that 13. 3.1 happens to be the latest version available for all iOS 13 supported devices. So this iCloud bypass in here, which happens to be a full iCloud bypass, which means that you don't have to reconnect your phone to the computer or redo it after a reboot or anything like that. This is an untethered iCloud bypass, which means that you do it once and it persists until you erase your phone. So this is actually very good. But yeah, it does have a price because he worked a lot on this. So it says in here 480, but it says in here MXP. So it's not 400. $80 US dollars is 480 Mexican pesos which translate to about $25 in USD dollar. This is definitely not a lot for such a service and by the way I'm not in any way sponsorized by this guy here. This is not a paid advertisement or anything like that but I have tested this guy's services in the past and he is legitimate at least for the moment so you do know that you're getting an actual service. Now for those of you who do actually want it all you have to do is to register your device's serial number in here here and um, the program that you download which is basically this folder in here with these tools will basically communicate with that server and of course will um, get your files for your serial number. Now there are a couple of important mentions in here. What is an iCloud bypass? Well if your device is locked on an iCloud account or an Apple ID and it doesn't let you activate that device you can basically use it, you can basically activate it, you know go past the Apple ID and password screen and of course be able to use the device normally, install applications, browse the internet and stuff like that. And this is not like the DNS bypass. This is an actual bypass which allows you to use the phone. However, there is one slight difference. You cannot place any calls. You will not have any signal. You can use Wi-Fi, you can use Bluetooth, but you cannot use a SIM card. This doesn't have network. You are, however, able to synchronize with iTunes and stuff like that. You can sign in with your Apple account and download applications. And you can use the home button and everything like an iPad or an iPod. So basically, you cannot place calls. That's the only issue. Today he said in here, quote, this untethered bypass works for the iPhone 5s to the iPhone 10 on 12.2 all the way up to 13.3.1 and of course everything in between, no matter if it's global, GSM or Wi-Fi. So it doesn't matter which kind of device you have or from which country you bought it, as long as it's one of the devices supported on the supported iOS versions, it should be bypassable untethered. If you need any help with this bypass, by the way, I do have a forum in here at Jill central.fc365.info and there is an iCloud bypass central section in here where you can request help, you know, ask questions and stuff like that and you can also monitor the latest progress. Now once you download the files in here you're going to get these files. So basically you have a readme in Spanish and one in English. I definitely recommend you to use them because they explain all the process and everything you need to do. So for example you have to ch mode every single thing in here. So in order to do that you're basically going to get a terminal and write ch mode plus X in here. You're going to have to do that for every single file like this. So basically at this point you should be able to run these and you have all the information that you need in the readme in here so I definitely recommend you to read this and of course you have to read them very carefully because otherwise you may run in errors. So yeah, that's basically about this untethered bypass. It's definitely a very important step towards a truly full bypass, you know one with sim card and stuff like that but for now I call this a full bypass because it doesn't require you to read do it after a reboot and it does allow you to synchronize with iTunes. The only problem, of course, remaining the SIM card, which is not exactly very easy to fix and I don't think it will be fixable in the near future, at least not publicly. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Gio Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Check out the forum if you need any help and peace out.